Hi guys, I'd like to give you a tour around this tool that I've created. It's a Chrome extension that helps with uploading large amounts of designs into your merch programmers in the camp uh, as quickly and painlessly as possible. So uh, I myself am in the tier 5 or 500 tier. I got 10 uploads a day, although it's reduced to 5 at the moment. And even with those numbers I get um, frustrated with the process and think that it's quite tedious. All the copying and pasting, selecting of colours. Well, this extension should take all the pain out of it. It's based around getting your uh, listing data into CSV files. A CSV file will look like this. It will have your brand, title, price, the bullets, description, the colours you've selected, and whether it's suitable for men, women and kids. And we then basically cycle through this in a batch and upload them through the extension. So we'll come back to that later on and we'll crack on and show you what we've got. So the extension shows you the current shirt that you're on, so we'll find the Alabama shirt and upload it. I'm just obviously doing the straight outer insert state name here um, as an example. So the extension will be up here. Uh, that's uh, This has loaded the CSV file I showed you just before. And we've got all the straight outer states in here. I can cycle through them. It updates it on the browser screen as well. Um, so if we just show, I'll show you what it's like to do one shirt. So back to Alabama. Save that selection. We're on to choosing the colors and fit type, price. Well, if I select up in the extension, We've already seen it from our CSV, it should be selecting black, navy, orange, blue and olive, which it is doing. Um, you don't have to stick with those, you can change your mind, um, it just will auto-select them for you. Okay. Uh, the price is populated, the fit type is populated. On the next screen, it automatically fills in all these text boxes for you from the CSV. <clears throat> uh, you can then flick between those if you're on the wrong design for whatever reason you can flick around um, so it's quite flexible from that point of view save selection and that's pretty much it I'm just going to save this one as draft and obviously it just shows how quickly you can get through these uh, uploads so if I add another one we'll go on to Doing the next one, the Alaska shirt. <clears throat> so I just flip this over to the Alaska one. Come back. Sometimes it takes a little while for this to upload and render. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, so onto here. Click tool, sets the colors, puts the price in, puts the fit type in. Onto the next screen. Text box is already populated. Hit save, and that's it. So it massively reduces the time that it takes to list your shirts. No more copying and pasting into individual fields. All you need to do is get your data into this CSV file format. Uh, come, uh, I provide you with three of the sample CSV files in here, um, and I'll just show you how I would quickly scale out that uh, the CSV file that we're just using now, the straight out of shirts one. <coughs> okay. Uh, Okay, so we've been through the headings on here, they're all fairly self-explanatory. So I would start off um, with putting an extra column at the end, in this case for state, but it could be for occupation or sports or whatever it is that your variant's going to be of. And then you just need to get your list of them. I've got one I prepared earlier here, which we just grabbed online. Okay, and then I'm going to use uh, Excel formulas. I can just grab all of these to fill in the rest of the information for me. So you create your uh, text once and then it just does the substitution. So uh, we'll have a, a more in-depth video on how to create these and different ideas and what you can do. Uh, but essentially it is looking at uh, the column of the cell at the end and it will change that as you go down. So. There we go. So that is how to create that. And it's obviously would mean that this would be quite a big uh, time saving for your VA or yourself. Uh, one thing I would also uh, point out is 
because it saves it to a CSV file, uh, we can't actually use commas in there in your actual description, otherwise it will move your uh, data across a column which will make it fail in the tool. So what we've said is basically if we can replace those with semicolons instead of commas uh, and then before they're substituted in from the Chrome extension uh, that will work fine. So if you just remember either put in the commas uh, but then do a find and replace on commas with semicolons before you save the CSV um, then that should be that. So at the moment it's in Excel format but to get it to CSV I'm just going to select CSV in here it's going to give me a warning okay let's say yes um, we'll ignore these prices obviously I don't think anyone's buying a shirt for $68 especially not one of uh, my straight outer ones okay so um, I'll just show that that would load in correctly so I'll clear that load it in yeah, and it's going through, uh, the price is going up as well. Okay, right, so uh, that's essentially the demo. I'm giving this away with a free trial for seven days, and then there will be a small subscription um, to pay, uh, probably between four and five dollars a month. And uh, yeah, hopefully that will save itself. I mean, it's probably just the royalties from one shirt. And I think if you think about the time that you would save yourself or, or your VA when you're doing these uploads, I think it uh, would more than pay for itself. Um, just uh, go over to some extra details that I wanted to run through uh, before we finish off here. So, uh, when you first install the extension, you'll get a warning uh, like this saying, that Merch Batch Uploader wants to view your Chrome Web Store apps and extensions. Now, in order to, for me to give you guys a free trial, uh, I need to check uh, when the trial started and if you then went on to pay for a subscription. So, all it, the, it, it is doing is just um, calling that up and uh, checking with the Google APIs. There's uh, nothing more than that I'm not interested in. Which uh, other extensions and apps you guys have installed on there is just so I get permission to view not amend but just view uh, what the subscription is you know to to this extension okay so um, if you see that you know don't panic basically right a uh, couple of final points and so uh, this tool is a hundred percent written by myself there's been kind of no outsourcing of that I'm in control of the code and what it's doing uh, there's no calls out to any third-party servers uh, there's Apart from the Google licensing API, uh, it's, that's the only thing that is called just to check whether you're in a free trial or not. Uh, so there's no reporting back to base, no uploading of your CSV. I mean, apart from the licensing API, it could just run offline. Uh, so yeah, so it's a seven day free trial and you can cancel at any time. Uh, it's going to be subscription based, no tie-ins or anything like that. And I'm going to be updating it as merch evolves. Uh, so it already supports the t-shirts and the recently added long sleeve t-shirts. Um, my account, I don't have the hoodies as yet, but it will be uh, supported when uh, I get access to those as well. All right, so I've created a, a Facebook group for uh, this. It's uh, linked to on the actual tool. Uh, just show you on there. So there's a, a website which is under construction at the moment. A Facebook group and a YouTube channel. So I'll be doing more videos uh, to explain about how uh, some ideas for uh, this in uh, Excel, how we can uh, better use formulas to scale our designs and uh, I'll go into that later on but hopefully you can see I'll just show you another uh, sample on here. Let's do this one. So we've got Proud Moms, Proud Mom to the Best, uh, insert occupations, we've got the occupations at the end here. And one thing I wanted to show you quickly is obviously we could say just do a replace all and say Proud Dad to, Proud Uncle, Proud Brother. Um, it's uh, We could just go on and on like that. So I know some of you do scale designs and they work really well. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you'll find this tool useful. I so say you get a week's free trial. So just no harm in going and trying it. 
Okay, I've got more tools planned and uh, there will be one that's coming out to complement this one that will be a, a free tool and uh, won't need any uh, payments or subscription. So hopefully you guys can see how useful this could be and there should be a link in the description to go and uh, try it out. Okay, any questions just join the Facebook group and ping me a message and uh, I'll try and answer them as quickly as possible. Okay, thanks very much for your time. Cheers, bye.